To live in a senseless society where you only have to do what you're told, you have to be born in that type of society. But for me... Without any misrespect for any of my colleagues or whatever, I would, I would like to speak a little bit about um, a multiplexer with four outputs. This multiplexer, as you'll see here, have a set of dip switches which allows you to set up the unit to work on binary, progressive or stages we have four relays which can uh, be which can be enabled progressively or to play on stages or on binary it's up to how you set up this little uh, dip switches and here you will have a 24 volt supply and uh, not to 10 volts and uh, if you will apply uh, 0 to 10 volts as a signal, so this will be permanently supplied with 24 volts and then you have not a 10 volts. So if you have the not to 10 volts, you will have as an example, you have four relays and then you go 25%, so 2.5 volts, you'll have the first one enabled and then you have five volts, the second one, 7.5, the third one and 10 volts, the fourth one. Um, if you work on progressive, if you work on binary, then things will change. If you work on stages, uh, things will change. So um, this is uh, something that uh, it is how you want to set up the uh, system to run. But the most important thing it is, you have to have this LED uh, lighten up. And I tell you what, the most common problem I have with this, and I'm not sure if you'll see it, but I want to see it because this is a very important thing to see. Just try to figure it out. Uh, yeah, as you'll see here, you have a diode just here. This diet gets very hot, and believe me or not, um, one, one out of three multiplexers have a problem because the diet is melting the soldering alloy on the rear side onto the um, printed circuit uh, board. And then you only have to open it, you pull left and right this plastic, you turn it with, with a soldering gun, you will... Uh, Resolder this leg right here. This is the one which uh, constantly melts his uh, soldering, and then you will you will not have uh, the light onto this uh, LED, which means the system basically won't be supplied with power. And then you will dump it in a bin, or you will order a new one. Then I'll come and I'll take the old one at home, and in five seconds I'll fix it, and then I'll end up with a new multiplexer. And the client unfairly will pay a lot of money because uh, you're entitled to replace the new one because you're not an electronic engineer. Yet, I think you have the right to know all these things because uh, that will make you a smarter engineer. As you'll see here, we have these little jumps. This allows you to put the unit and I'm gonna take one off right now. So I just want you to see. As you'll see, you have three pins. And as you'll see to these three pins, you have uh, in between one and two, it is permanently on. Between three and three, it's automatic, and between three and four, it's off. So if you remove this uh, pin, uh, it will be equivalent like uh, you will put it here, if you don't want to put it back, because there's not any connection. So that will hold off the unit. So I'll put it back. I always like to have the system run on automatic mode, unless there's something which I want to test. Um, I'll give you an example. I want to test the fan. I want to test if the fan runs. I want to test if everything runs. And this is connected to business ma uh, building management control. And I have 24 volts and then I have 10 volts. It's not present because not any heat demand. It's summer. I cannot enable a burner. Or maybe it's winter and I cannot uh, enable a refrigeration equipment or um, an air conditioning equipment. You can use this for every application. I know people what say, but they're not designated for a specific application. This is just a control. You apply 24 volts and progressively when you apply 10 volts, this relay will start to play accordingly to how you um, how you set up this uh, deep switches. Let's see, we talk on progressive. They set up to work in uh, progressive. One, two, three, four. You, you apply 2.5 volts is the first, five is the second, 7.5 the third, and 10 the fourth. So I have to check a fan because a company 
uh, it's controlled by accountants, by solicitors, by politicians and not by real technicians like us. They don't understand how things work. And then in the middle of the summer, you have a contract to say, okay, it's summer, go and check the boiler, go and check the electrical heater, go and check uh, everything which has something to do with heating some premises. You will not have a demand here. You don't have demand from the building management control. And I'll show you a building management control in a minute. It could be any type of building management control, actually. It could be any type, like uh, uh, Siemens, uh, Allen Bradley. It could be uh, ComprehX Priva controller. It could be Trend controller. It could be any controller. Or Mercury controller, Intuitive controller, blah, blah, blah. So you will not have any heat demand and yet you would like to test the heaters so you will uh, do your maintenance. To, to be able to do that, um, you can use these jumps to force the unit on and then you can check your stuff. That's what I like about these multiplexers. So uh, I hope you understood how multiplexer work and um, I hope from all my heart that uh, you will not make the mistake to replace a, multi, a multiplexer just for the little diode which is only 5p on a market. One of the most important things you have a set here. You can set the minimum uh, voltage required for this system to run. For me, I always I will always put this at uh, two volts because I don't want to bring it down to zero. I have uh, some voltage leak and I might enable the first stage even if the system is not enabled. Or I have a little um, issue with the building management control which will slip about 1.5 volts or something and then you'll activate this for no reason. So I go about two volts as close as uh, I can from the first stage. So this is it about the multiplexer. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you understood a little bit of this tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time. I'm Mihai, I'm Mihai John and if you will um, uh, want to know more, please subscribe to my uh, YouTubes and you'll find much more about electronics. Come from today, I'm going to explain step by step about all these um, little gadgets which uh, are beyond your understanding sometimes to help you to get easy to be smarter and to get a better job and a better wage because uh, I think as technician we deserve a technical backup anytime. Thank you. How, what is the reality on this technical world? And they will demand things which might not be reasonable all the time because I have a lot of meetings and believe me or not I was a bit disappointed when I asked one of my uh, manager how can I do the first fix? Because as far as I'm concerned, for me, the first fix it is when I give you the right diagnostic because the company doesn't belong to me and I don't have parts in the car to fix a problem from the first visit. And this is only a something simple that can be reset it or a broken, burnt wires that can be relinked or something. But in with some occasion, first fix, it means only so you give the right diagnostic